So, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, hiking season is open again and for our first big hike of the year, Catherine and I decided to walk the Malerweg in Germany. Now, I hadn't really heard a lot about this trail before, but I saw a couple of incredible pictures uh, online some years ago and I just needed to go there and see it for myself. And we were not disappointed at all. It was absolutely gorgeous. There's the uh, Bastei Bridge, of course, which is a famous tourist hotspot, deservedly so, but there's much, much more to discover. By the way, uh, Malerweg is German for the painter's way, so it's named after the many painters that came here to capture those wonderful vistas, the landscapes, the rock formations. Um, if you've ever been to the Mullertal in Luxembourg, it's sort of comparable to that, except everything times three. So you get more rocks, you get more ladders, you get way higher cliffs and climbs, way more woods, etc. So in the last days of April, we took the car for about an eight to nine hour drive from where we live to Saxony. That's the German province bordering uh, the Czech Republic. And you're actually so close to Prague that we decided to first do a little two day city trip to the Czech capital. Um, after Prague, we drove to the German city of Pirna to start the hike. Now, the official trail isn't actually a closed loop, but it's close. So from Pirna, you can take a bus to the starting point or just walk those five kilometers like we did. Um, this part is admittedly pretty boring, but soon enough, you'll start following these wonderful forest streams and you'll encounter the first rock cliffs. The official trail is uh, 116 kilometers, divided into eight stages. Now, eight is way too much though. We took about four and a half days to finish uh, the 110 kilometers. So we didn't quite do the very last part because it was a very rainy day. Um, we were both pretty exhausted. Fortunately, there is a railway running along the Elbe River and you can hop in every town along the way. So we headed back to Pirna train station where I had parked uh, the car on the free parking lot. Also, there are basically no bridges over the Elbe River here. So you have to cross it by ferry in the little town of Schmilka. Uh, pro tip, do bring uh, some cash because it's a very small fee to cross with the ferry. I think we paid like less than two euros each, but they don't accept any cards whatsoever. So we lost about half an hour searching for a way to withdraw money and there are no ATMs in town. On the south bank of the Elbe, there's a couple of really small campgrounds, basically bivouac spots, and you do have to pay a small fee for those. We spent our last night there and we wild camped the other three nights. As usual, wild camping, it's technically not allowed there. But if you strictly follow those uh, leave no trace principles, I think you should be fine. It was still very cold, especially the first few days with uh, temperatures dropping at night to about three, four degrees Celsius. So I was really glad I brought some hand warmers. I wouldn't say it's a hard trail, but you will be doing hundreds of staircases and ladders. So the ascents and descents can be very abrupt and steep. We had a few days of about a thousand meters of elevation with a total of 4,000. Especially in the second part, there are a couple of dull stretches on the uh, trail in open fields connecting a few villages. They can be, I would say, less compelling, but the advantage is that you can quickly cover long distances on this terrain. It's also pretty well marked throughout, uh, but of course do bring a backup map on your phone. You can check the Strava links uh, in the description below to get a breakdown day by day. Uh, I'll also post some other links and a pack list there so you can uh, check that if you want to see what gear I brought on this trip. So yeah, Malerwijk, uh, two thumbs up. If you have any other questions, post a comment below. Um, I'll be heading to Scotland in a couple of days. Very much looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be posting updates on Instagram as well. Uh, so follow me there if you haven't yet. And I really hope you enjoy this one and I'll see you soon.